those little biological vials that you have, those are not PCDs. Merry Christmas, sterile processing professionals. I know it's not Christmas yet, but we're almost there, and I just wanted to be the first to wish you Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope this is a fantastic time for you this time of year. I'm Brandon, the Sterile Guy, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the difference between a process challenge device and a biological. I have heard so many techs over my career refer to a biological as a PCD or process challenge device, but this is actually not exactly correct. And the reason I say not exactly is because it's pretty complicated and I wanna break it down for you. Under Amy ST79 2017, the definition of a process challenge device is an item designed to constitute a defined resistance to a sterilization process and used to assess performance of the process. So let's break that down. A PCD has two distinct purposes and designs. The first is it must be resistant to sterilization. So whatever this thing is, it actually provides a resistance to sterilization. It actually tries to prevent sterilization from occurring. And this resistance can be something like a design or a complexity of some kind of substance which attempts to keep out the chemical sterilant or steam sterilant or is just difficult for the steam or chemical to penetrate to get inside the tray or whatever it is it's trying to get into. Second and most important part of a PCD is that it actually tests the high performance of a sterilizer. So if a sterilizer can achieve sterilization with a high resistance to the sterilization process, what that says about the sterilizer is that not only can it meet your minimum sterilization capabilities, it is more than adequate. Okay, so back to the not exactly thing I said earlier. Those little biological vials that you have, those are not PCDs. The biological vial itself does not provide any resistance to the sterilization process. Now, the vial of biological does contain a million, approximately a million spores that the sterilization process has to actually terminate to be a successful sterilization cycle. Now, when that biological turns out negative, that doesn't say that the sterilizer is operating a high performance. What that says is that the sterilizer did the absolute basic function we expect, which is to sterilize and kill microorganisms. I hope that makes sense. Though it is difficult to kill spores, we expect that as the absolute basic function. So if it can't kill spores, it's not functional. So when it does kill spores, it has met the absolute basic requirement of a sterilizer. So we know a sterilizer when it's functioning properly can kill a million spores. The question is, can it kill a million spores inside of a process challenge device? So what exactly is a process challenge device? Thanks, Brandon. I'm glad you asked. Let me explain. So you know those packs that the biologicals usually come in? Like if you order from 3M, they're usually that rectangular pack that has the green wrapper on the top. And once you open it, it's a stack of cardstock. And if you open the cardstock in the middle is where the biological is. And that is a process challenge device. That device is made to prevent the easy access of steam or chemical penetration. The wrapper itself with the tightly um, compressed cardstock with the biological in the absolute center prevents a very challenge um, to the system for steam to penetrate and then kill 1 million spores. So what this means is that the sterilizer has not only successfully vacuumed out all the air that was in the sterilizer before the load started, it has properly pumped in steam to the point where it has penetrated that highly resistant process challenge device, 
got to the biological vial and then was at the proper temperature and pressure for a specified time to actually inactivate and kill those million spores. Not to mention that biological is usually in the weakest portion of the sterilizer just above the drain. And by weakest, I mean coldest part of the sterilizer. So do you see what I mean? A biological vial itself does not have any resistance to the steam penetration or chemical penetration process. But when that is placed in a highly resistant device, such as the cardstock with the wrapper, that creates much more resistance to the process. And when it does turn out to be negative, not only did the sterilizer meet its basic functions, it did it in a very high performance capacity. Now, if your facility does not purchase these PCDs in this form, you might be doing the old fashioned version. And I'm going to be kind of stirring up the old school text here of the way we used to do it back in the day, which is called the 16 towel method. Before there was these fancy PCDs with the card stock, we actually had to take 16 huck towels and in those biological vials and create our own process challenge device with folding the towels in a specific way, stacking in a specific way, and then taping those together. This is still an approved process through Amy. You can find this in Amy ST79 2017 on pages 84 and 85, where it explains the process and even has an illustration for you to see what that process looks like. Ah, the good old days. Just kidding. That process was a pain in the ass. I'm super grateful for the pre-assembled PCDs nowadays. So as we talked about, a biological itself is not a process challenge device. And a process challenge device must be resistant to sterilization. And in some way, it must be able to show that the sterilizer is operating at a high performance level. And when the sterilizer penetrates, kills those microorganisms through the PCD, that itself is proving that the sterilizer is functioning at a high performance. I hope you liked this video on PCD versus biologicals. Hopefully it cleared that up for you. If there's any topics or videos you would like to see, please put it in the comments down below and let me know so I can work on that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.